My name is Lola Shone and I'm a writer, a festival director and a publisher and I also run a foundation in Nigeria. And today we had a topic about migration. We did. And um, what's your view about the extreme ideologies of migration, especially now in Europe? Well, I just think it, it surprises me, to be honest. First of all, it's horrible. Yeah. It's, 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 it's so vile. Um, and, and sometimes I struggle to understand how people do not appreciate, and this is a very, you know, to simplify it, yeah. that movement is one of the most natural things, you know, to human beings. Yeah. Um, and therefore should not be, a, you know, a surprise at all. And yeah. of course, people move for different things, for economic empowerment. And in today's world, it could just be for opportunities. Yeah. It could be for, for a better life. Yeah. It could be for one's children. Yeah. So, I mean, given that I live in Africa um, and I live in Nigeria, um, it would be uh, remiss of me not to mention that um, the way in which I feel that Africa itself contributes to the problem. But of course, it's not Africa on, in, it, in itself as a continent. Yeah. And I don't think the, the, the responsibility should be a collective one. This blame falls squarely on the shoulders of African leaders yeah. who are corrupt, who do not lead, who do not make sure that the money that is meant for the people is actually injected into building infrastructure and also just institutions that can help the people and that can mean that, that means that they can live a life where they're content and they have the things that they need at their fingertips. And education here is a case in point. I was delivered by an Indian doctor yeah. in Ibadan. He was in Nigeria because because he was being trained by a Nigerian doctor. Yes. But today, a lot of Nigerians are now just going off to India for medical tourism. Yeah. This, we need to stop for a moment and just realize or ask ourselves if we've regressed. And if the answer is yes, if life, the quality of life today is not quite as good as it was 25 years ago, yeah. then it's time for us to really sit down and rethink how these countries are being run and what we can do to ensure that the resources, and these countries are full of incredible resources, are being utilized in a way that benefits the ordinary person. I guess the question is now, with what you have said, who is going to put the bell on the rat? So who holds the responsibility of ensuring that the government or people are well educated to a point where there is no need for migration in the sense of, let's say, you know, seeking better opportunities yeah. as opposed to maybe just tourism. Well, in terms of um, how we're going to get to that point where we're having that conversation, yeah. it's really got to come for, from the people. Yeah. And this is one of the reasons why I live in Nigeria, yeah. why I feel I must operate from Nigeria. Yeah. It's because I have to be there to speak truth to power yeah. where necessary, yeah. but also to be able to say outright where there are issues and where it seems like the country is going backwards. Yeah. So it's really, it's, it's down to the people. Yeah. Enough of us have to rise up and say, you know what, this is unacceptable. Okay. It's happening in Nigeria and it's happening all over Africa unfortunately um, and this has to do with education of course sometimes it, it does seem like people have been kind of kept in the dark they've been denied education because of course you know that once you start reading yeah. once you understand the world have a better grasp of the way the world works that's when you start thinking hang on this isn't right so I would like a, a point where people, more people have access to education and, and, and for very selfish reasons because it means that more people can come together and speak up when governance is going in the wrong direction. Um, we are very grateful for your comments. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to press the subscribe button. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram on Africa Web TV. We have lots of clips coming your way. I am is of my mindset.